Hey, we're this is Mark, and I'm here with Caleb, our plant biologist uh, here at Teva Corporation. And I just thought I'd talk to Caleb today about uh, sugars. We're hearing a lot about them and what their importance in the plant are and everything. So, Caleb, uh, why do we need to add sugar when the plant's already producing its own sugar? I mean, you're correct there. Uh, the, any green plant is doing photosynthesis, and the whole reason it's doing photosynthesis is to make sugar. Uh, that's, it needs sunlight to do that. Uh, a little bit of water and it, it can make its own glucose, but uh, it's, that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing to add sugar to it. If you think of su sugar in the plant is like gas. It's used to power every kind of reaction it does, any kind of uh, change it needs to do, growth, all that is fueled by sugars. Uh, so you think of it like you, if you go to work and you've skipped breakfast, I mean, you feel it later in the day, you can do... the. the the same with your plants. If you give it a little more sugar, it doesn't feel as down, as, uh, as droopy. It gives it more energy. Uh, whether that be a little something extra or because you've had several days of uh, clouds and rain uh, where it's not able to produce sugar since it's not getting that light, it, it still picks it up either way. Okay. Well, our, tell us the difference in the kinds of sugars out there. I know there's glucose and dextrose and sucrose, so tell me about that. Yeah, I mean, you hear about them on the news, all these different kinds that are in your, your foods and your cereals and stuff, glucose, fructose, dextrose, maltose. Uh, agriculturally, uh, we see the most glucose, just uh, commercial glucose. 99% of the products out there are going to be glucose. And it's, a, it's fine sugar. You're using it for energy, and it's the, the base sugar. It's the most simple sugar you can have, and that's what the plant uses to fuel all its reactions anyway. Uh, the big problem is that it has no versatility. Since it's used for energy, that's all it's ever going to be used for. Uh, on top of that, you can think of these sugar molecules kind of like a magnet. Uh, these, the glucose is slightly charged on either end, which means that as it's made in the leaves, if it needs to go somewhere like the stem or the roots, everything along the way is going to try to pull it in to use it for energy for its own process. The plant can't be as selective about where it's pulling its energy from. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we here at TV, we use a, our MMTS sugar, which is a sucrose-based sugar. That's actually a complex sugar. It's two sugar molecules stuck together. So you're getting two sugar molecules for the, you know, out instead of one. And on top of that, since they're kind of like magnets, they are going to cancel the charges out on each other and make it uh, more easy to transport through the plant and get where it needs to go. Uh, if it's... Since it's a complex sugar, it can be broken down into different simple sugars. It doesn't have to become glucose if the plant needs it for something else. So if you've had added some sugar and then you get a week of sun, you know, two, a week and a half of sun, and your plant's flush with uh, sugar, it's still going to be okay because it can break down that sucrose for other processes it might need it for. Okay. So in this sugar, uh, can I just go to Sam's or Walmart and buy a 50-pound bag of sugar and go with it that way? Oh, I mean, we get that question a lot, and you, you can certainly try. I don't recommend it. Uh, the store-bought sugars you're going to see there, they're those w white glucose sugars. So they're white because they've been bleached for color, and they have formaldehyde added to them to make them less sticky. The, both those processes are actually killing any kind of biological life that's there in the sugar. At Tiva, we're big promoters of biological life. We realize that they help power a lot of the different functions inside your plants. And so we don't want to get rid of any of that if we can help it. Um, so our MMTS is actually a brown sugar. It's not had any kind of chemical added to it after the fact. It's still got all the enzymes of biological life that you would have straight from the farm. Uh, on top of that, uh, it, the, your store-bought is actually going to be a heat process sugar. means that after it's harvested, they're going to take it and they're going to evaporate it and get all the moisture out of it. That heat processing is another thing that helps kill any biological life in there, as well as makes the bonds in that sugar stronger. So if you think of it, like you can take uh, sand and heat it up to make glass. Uh, these heat processed sugars have the same thing. That sugar gets heated up and it becomes stronger like glass, and that makes it harder to dissolve when you're going to tank mix it and use it in your, use it in your spraying. Uh, a, su a cold process like our MMTS, that actually has... Uh, it is centrifuged out. They take it and they sling all the water out of it so that it becomes a dry product. That way you're not getting any of those bonds strengthened or any of the biological life killed, so you've still got your life and easier bonds, easier to break up. It should dissolve in water without a problem. Okay. 
Well, what about, I know when we first started here at Teva, we, you know, we use molasses a lot and, and that sort of thing. So what about some of the liquid, you know, you're starting to see a lot of liquid sugars out there. What do you think on those? There, there are certainly liquid sugars out there. Like you said, we started in molasses. Uh, a lot of those liquid though, like molasses is, it has to be imported, which means it's sitting on a boat uh, for however long it takes to get here. And it's out in the sun getting hot, which would make it, since it's sugar, it feeds biological life, it's gonna wanna grow up. So they have to add chemicals to that to be able to keep it uh, as a straight liquid sugar while they're transporting over there. Any liquid sugar you see that's not growing up has had some kind of chemical added to it. And, you know, here at Teva with our promoting of biological life, we don't wanna see that. You know, we, we don't recommend using it if it's had all that kind of chemical added to it. As well as they just, they become a pain, they're tricky to use, they come in these 55 gallon drums a lot of times and it can just be a mess when you could just stay with a dry product that dissolves into your water fairly easily and have a lot less hassle. Okay, thank you.